got him in here. That's one of those tail that we caught this morning. When I first caught it, I cut his throat straight away and he went straight onto ice. And that's one of the most important things if you're ever gonna kill and keep a tailor is to bleed it. If you don't, and when you uh, when you take the fillet off, you'll see it will be have a bit of a red, red tinge to it and the flavor's not as good if you bleed it straight away and get that blood out of his system. So that tail is bled and ready to go. First things first, gotta get the scales off. It's a pretty simple process. Tailor don't have a whole lot of scales on them. So it's just a matter of basically covering the whole of the fillet with your scaler. You want to get under the belly, all the way around to the fins. And like, nothing more annoying than eating a fish and having a few scales in your mouth at the end of the meal. So do a pretty comprehensive job here and uh, you'll be rewarded later. So all up there, people usually miss this spot up at the back. Give it a really good scaling. And then you want to give it a, a bit of a dip in some uh, salt water to get all those scales off. So the first incision I'm doing is going to be on the diagonal just behind his fin there. So that's my first incision down there and that's going to be my end point. So if it was a bigger fish, you can actually cut all the way down his backbone there but a small fish like this I'm pretty comfortable from, to go from the tail in. So first incision down there then I'm going back to the tail and just basically going down to the backbone until I feel that backbone and I'm going to slide my knife along the whole of the fish all the way up until I get to that first incision that I made and you should meet it there and that fillet should basically just fall off. A really good indication that you've done a good job is when you scrape your knife along the back you should hear a bit of a scrape because that's the backbone and it means you've missed zero meat. So that's the first fillet gone. Next one, turn him over and repeat the process. So Mark, this up, Jono. This is our lunch and we worked hard for it, eh? I know. So, I'll try my best. Zach, Jack's hungry over there, I can tell. I'm ready to go. Right, so that's my carcass there. You can, uh, you can keep that for a crab trap if you want to uh, put it in the freezer. You go worming with it. In this case, we're just going to dispose of it in the ocean, so I'll see him there. It's a bit of a gut cavity. So now what I've got is two really nice fillets of tailor. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the rib, rib cage out. That's just a matter of... Uh, Basically just a thin slice and then on a diagonal down there. So there's, there's, that's, that's the rib cage there, there's bones in there. You can use that as a nice bit of bait too if you wanted, if you were out fishing. And the final one is just a, a V-line cut in here to take out the bones that sit in there. Now, if you're really picky, you can take them out all the way down. But in my case, I know where those bones are and I'm happy to eat around them. We're on the beach today, we're just eating off paper towels, so I'm okay with that. So what you've got there, is a beautiful fillet, a fresh tail I caught this morning and uh, it's off to my mate Jack who's going to cook it up for us. He's got a bit of oil in the bottom of a pan, shallow fry. You could put a bit of uh, flour on it if you want, but I'm pretty happy to eat that just as it is. So righto Jack, I'm going to do the transfer to you. Righto. You're going straight in brother. Straight in. Yeah. Righto, nice hot oil there and we're just going to lay him in the pan, just lay it away from you. And, uh, two minutes each side and they're ready to go. That's what it's all about, jam packing as much fishing as you can within a couple days whenever you get time. Pick out a couple species, the ones you want to catch, get a mate, pick a part of the world to go do it in and just get out there and do it and I'll see you on the water.